is going on guys? It is D-Man Guy and today I'm going to show you how to build a pause button in Scratch. So when I click this green flag here, I can move my character around and it's basically the shoe game I made last video. And speaking of the last video, I want to thank you all for 600 views. That's pretty good for a small YouTuber like me. But when I click the green flag again and press a certain key, it pauses the thing. So this is what I'm going to show you how to make today. Is I'm going to show you how to make a pause button and make it pause like this. Let's get started, shall we? The first thing you want to do is make a sprite. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a sprite that says paused, or you can make a pause symbol, it doesn't really matter, just as long as it's obvious that it's paused. So I'm just going to change my color to red, I'm going to convert to bitmap because I honestly like that better. So I'm just going to say paused, and then I'm going to change the font maybe, and I can resize it, center it. And there you go. Now what you're going to do is you're going to give it code, because you have to give it code, obviously. So when flag clicked, and immediately what you're going to do is hide. So when you start up the game, it hides. And to center it, you're going to say go to 0, 0. So x, 0, y, 0. Now what you're going to do is you're going to get a forever loop and an if-else statement. Then what you're going to do is you're going to make a variable and make sure it's for all sprites because pause has to affect all sprites. It can't just be for the one sprite. So I'm just going to say pause. All right. Now what I'm going to say is if pause equals false, then I'm going to do another if statement. If key... I'm just going to say P, P for pause. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say uh, set pause to true. And then in order to prevent spam on the button, I'm just going to say I usually like to do wait until not key P pressed. All right. Now what you're going to do is you're going to duplicate that and put in the else statement. And then what you're going to do is take this all out, duplicate the if statement again, put this all back in. Oh, wrong button. And put this back in and press P. And then what we're going to, oop, not a comment. Then what we're going to do is we're going to say if pause equals true, and then set pause to false. And then, and what I'm going to do now is, or create another script, and then forever. This time we're not going to use if else statements. We're just going to say if statements. You know, maybe we can do if else statements. I think that'd be easier. If uh, pause equals false. Then you're going to say hide, else show. I'm just going to clean this up. Now let's test it out. So I have P, nope, I guess I got to um, set pause to false. Oh, that's right, because I forgot something. For the start, you always have to set pause to false. All right, now let's test it out. Press P and paused. But as you can see, it didn't really do anything. That's because it doesn't affect the other sprites. So we got to fix that. So I'm just going to get rid of that. Now, you want the pause button to affect all sprites. So what you're going to do is inside of this forever loop for the controls, you're going to put that in that entire if statement in. And then what you're going to do is if pause equals false that means it's unpaused and then you're going to do it for this little code right here too so it's going to say if duplicate this pause equals false now your character will move now for the object you don't really have to worry about that but for the enemy i would so uh again we're going to do if pause equals false and then we're going to do 
another if statement. Bring this down. If pause equals false, we're going to do that. Now let's test it out. So I can see I can move around because it's not paused. I can press P and it says paused. It's kind of cut out because they're both red, but it doesn't really matter. You can update if you wanted to, but I just decided to write pause. So anyway, it pauses the game. When I press P again, it unpauses. And there you go. That's how you make a pause button in Scratch. Hopefully you enjoyed. Be sure to like this video for more tutorials and other stuff. And let's see if we can get this video to up to five likes. Can we do that? All right. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.